October is over, and that means there's a new batch of winners for the Healthy Flea Challenge. This time around, the three-month challenge has no break months and has been running since September 1st. October was the second leg of the competition, and now participants are battling it out for the last month of the challenge that runs from November 1st to 30th. According to Healthy Trucker, contestants really stepped it up this month and combined walked close to 140 million steps in October. In total, that represents 70,000 miles walked and more than 6.4 million calories burned. The leaderboard saw a slew of new groups that made October their most active month of the challenge. Keeping their spot in first place was TST Solutions. The team of 10 walked an average of 14,451 steps per day for the month of October. In second and new to the leaderboard was Flash Fright Systems, four-person team. They walked an average of 11,610 steps per day for the month. Going from second to third was Coastal Pacific Express. The six-person team walked an average of 11,368 steps per day. In fourth and new to the leaderboard was Seaboard Transport. The 13-person team walked an average of 10,639 steps per day. And rounding out the top five and making its first appearance on the leaderboard was Double D Transport. The six-person team walked 10,472 steps per day on average. Individual winners are calculated by the number of steps they walked in total since the challenge started on September 1st. Keeping his spot in first place and walking more than 1.7 million steps so far was Canada Cartridge's Marcus Sulep. Moving from third to second was Ralph Garcia of ABF Fright. He walked 1,473,903 steps in the last two months. In third, and new to leaderboard was John Vesley of Seaboard Transport. He's walked 1,447,216 steps since September. Keeping his place in fourth was ABF Fright's Nate McCarty. He walked more than 1.3 million steps so far. And in fifth was Paul Bombin of TST Solutions. He's walked more than 1.2 million steps in the last two months. As always, we have a special health tip brought to you by Healthy Trucker representatives, Melody Champion and Andrea Morley. Have a look. Hi, I'm Melody Champion, and this is Andrea Morley, and we're from Healthy Trucker. Today we're going to talk about portion sizes and uh, just to make things clear about how much we should actually be eating of the foods that we put on our plate. So we're actually going to start with a softball. That is a good serving of vegetables. So we want to aim for at least six to 12 servings of vegetables. So your leafy greens, if you have a big salad, that'd be about three of these. Um, now keep in mind, starchier vegetables uh, should be about half of that. So your peas, your corn, uh, that sort of food. So that would be your vegetables, a softball. Hardball is your pasta. So instead of loading your entire plate up with pasta, let's try to think of it more as a side dish. Now keep your pasta a little bit healthier. Let's choose a whole grain option, something with a little bit more fiber as well. Golf ball. That is how much uh, of a, a small handful of nuts would be. Nut butters should also be about a golf ball size or about two tablespoons. A hockey puck. That is how much grains you should be having. Believe it or not, this is the size of a bagel that we should be having, which is about equivalent to a half of a typical bagel. So a full bagel is actually quite a bit. A half a bagel is closer to our, our puck size. A deck of cards, which happens to also be the same size as the palm of our hand, is a meat serving. So a chicken breast, your, how much steak you should be having. All of that should be about this much. This is hard, I love cheese, but this is an actual serving of cheese. That's one ounce. Uh, so two dice put together is, uh, is your serving of cheese that you're trying to aim for. Try to go for a low fat or a, a more flavorful, like an old cheddar would be uh, more satisfying um, than a, a mild cheddar. So you get satisfied with a little bit less cheese. Now another way to tackle portion control is to focus on the way that you fill your plate. So I know that when it becomes time for dinner and you just want to load your plate with all the foods that you really like. So you might load it up with potatoes and corn and a large steak. And then before you know it, that takes up your entire plate and you just throw some carrots right on the side. But what you should focus on is one half of your plate should be filled with vegetables. A quarter of your plate should be filled with your starch and a quarter should be filled with the protein. So you, would, you can see that the deck of cards would fit nicely in this corner for protein and the hockey puck would fit nicely uh, for the starch portion. Vegetables, you could fill this half with two or three of these uh, servings of the softball size for vegetables. You could easily put in a quarter of the plate as a salad and a quarter as 
peas or carrots and broccoli, whatever you like. But this is a great visual reminder when you are filling your plate.